Hello everybody, today's session will be about KSP that we learned about last class and I believe it's chapter 16, number homework number 1, these will be similar problems. Alright, for the first one here, let's see what it says. It asks us to find, use the KSP value in the table to calculate the molar solubility of AGBR in pure water. Now there's a couple ways like to solve just like everything else. You can use an ice method if that's the way you like to organize things. It's not preferred, but I feel as though it's just easier for me to follow along. So, if you want to do it your own way, you're more than welcome to. Just I'm going to do it this way. First off, I just write out the, the uh, formula, or the chemical uh, formula. A, G, B, R, equilibrium sign. A, G, plus B, R. It's one to one, so we should make sure you notice that. So then you just write the uh, constant expression. I'm going to put that in blue over here. KSP is equal to AJ, AG, that's a G, multiplied by BR. Alright, so now you have that. We have the basics. Now, before we get into it, just notice what we have. We're given the KSP value. That was found up here. That we didn't have to do anything. That's given. We're asked to find the molar solubility of AGBR. So if you're from in other to make it sound familiar to other terms, we're kind of trying to find the concentration. We're not actually trying to find the concentration, but if it helps you to solve this problem easier, we're technically trying to find the concentration of this. If you're still in acids and bases in chemical equi equilibrium mode. So what do we do? Let's draw it out. The KSP, as I said, is given is 5.35 times 10 to the minus 13, right? This equals the concentration of A, or the solubility of AGJ multiplied by BR. We can represent that as X. 5.35 times 10 to the minus 13 equals X. X. Well, as we all know, algebra shows this is x squared equals 5.35 times 10 to the minus 13. Take the square root, 5.35 times 10 to the minus 13. x equals 7.31 times 10 to the minus 7. Now what is this? It's the molar solubility of AGBR in pure water. If it's easy for you to think of this kind of like uh, solving for the concentration, do that. Just make sure you understand that this is solving for mol the, uh, the molar solubility though, not the concentration itself. Now let's go to the next problem on the next page. Alright, this is a very same problem on the homework, same page I mean, but uh, just going to be set up a little bit different. So how we do this is same step as before. This is first off, what are we given? We already know this, we're given the uh, KSP value, like Dora the Explorer now, right here. Now we're asked to calculate the molar solubility again of CAF2 in pure water. So while we just write things out, let's do that. We get CAF2. Two. Now remember guys, we see that too, so from Chem 1 we know what that should mean. Equilibrium, Ca plus 2F, right? And the KSP value is given 1.46 times 10 to the minus 10. Good. So now what do we do? We just have to solve for the, con the molar solubility of CaF2. So why don't we just write down the constant expression while we're here so we don't get confused. would be CA multiplied by F. Now remember, 2F, so that means we square it. That's very important to remember. Now let's go over here and solve the problem out. So let's write that down, 1.46 1.46 times 10 to the minus 10 equals... CA multiplied by F2. Now here's the tricky part. We have to represent these like with an X as we always do. So we get 1.46 times 10 to the minus 10 equals X. But for F we have to do 2F since it's twice the, con the uh, concentration there. 
squared. So simplify that out a little bit. We get 1.46 times 10 to the minus 10 equals 4x cubed. So now we solve for x. 1.46 times 10 to the minus 10 divided by 4 over the cube root. And when you solve for this, I got a value of 3.32 times 10 to the minus 4. Alright, so now this one's a little bit different. As you see here, it's asking us to, uh, given the molar solubility in pure water, to calculate the KSP for each compound. And we're given the molar solubility right here of 5.63 times 10 to the minus 3 molarity, and we're asked to solve for the KSP. So same idea, the moment we just write the constant expression, because it's always good to write that. KSP is going to equal PB multiplied by F squared, right? Alright, and we're, um, just to make it easier, we're, uh, we're trying to solve for this value, so that must mean we know these values, right? So why don't we just draw this out here, we got KSP, we'll, we're going to represent that as X this time, equals 5.63 times 10 to the minus 3, multiplied by 2 times 5.63 times 10 to the minus 3, squared. Alright, so kind of like chemical equilibrium and acid base, just think of molar solubility as the concentration. That's what goes here. That's what goes in these plots right here. But remember, it says, if we look at the, over here, it's F2, so that means there's double the amount of fluoride. That's yeah, F. So that means we have to multiply it by 2 right here, and then we can't forget to square it as it's represented right there. So why don't we just do the math out? And you should get a value that x equals 7.13 times 10 to the minus 7, which equals the KSP value.